And Ivan's uh, turning, how old now? I'll be 96. 96, wow. She looks great. She used to be a ballerina, you see. These are ballerina feet. Actually looks really good for ballerina feet because usually they're pretty mangled. And modern dance. Yeah. Oh, modern dance. Okay, very good. So we're going to start from this side. And you told me you haven't had it cut for a while now? Uh-huh. How long now? I don't know, maybe a year. Maybe a year or so, huh? I cut my own nails. Oh, wow. Still, you can see everything? Yeah. Wow. Right. That's good. You did a good job so far. Cataract surgery is next. Oh, really? Oh, really? You're going to have surgery? Well, maybe. Now, this nail is off to the side now. It's going west. Wild, wild west. This one right here. Yeah, this is a tough one right here. It's all curved downward, so we have to get it straight here. You doing okay, Vaughn? I'm just fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. So much trouble. No, not at all. This looks great. This is what I do every day. Oh, really? Yeah. Not a lot, but I do, I do enough. We had a, another lady, she was 92 years old. And then she hasn't had her nails cut for two years. Mm -hmm. Her nails are this long. Wow. Yeah. So yours is quite mild. Not a problem at all. How do you walk with nails like that? You know, she couldn't walk because um, the nails were too long. She wanted to walk on the beach. She couldn't do it. See, yours is easy. Yours is easy. See how quickly I can cut? Hers were 10 times harder to cut. So where do you live near the beach? Here in Long Beach? In Naples. Oh, you live in Naples. That's a nice area. Mm -hmm. You go to the beach a lot? No, not now. No? But we, uh, she walks around the canals. Yeah? Wow. Ah. So what, what is your secret of being in such a good shape? Uh, I don't do anything special. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to get her to walk more. Yeah. It's probably easier to walk with the nail strips. Yeah. This can kind of get in the way. She has a little bit of bleeding here, which is, we're going to... Stop the bleeding with the um, we call them silver nitrate. This is um, how often should I come in here and get my nails trimmed? Yeah, every few months. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. so we recommend every couple months, but if it's too early, then we do it every three months or so, which mm -hmm. is good. So it's been a year, yeah, I can tell because these are they're kind of digging into your skin now, so that's why it's. You're, you're bleeding here because it was digging into your skin. And But the other ones are pretty easy to cut. A lot easier than I thought. So it's not it's not trouble at all for me to cut it for you. So, oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's a little tender. So when it's too long, when I cut it, it's a little tender to cut. But uh -huh. it'll be a lot better next time when I cut okay. it for you. Yeah. And I'm gonna grind it down to make it look beautiful, okay? Soon. I hate to take your time, that's the only thing. No, not at all, not at all. That's why I'm here. Don't feel bad, but, you know, there, there was a um, book that was written in, in, in Korean. It became a national bestseller there. He went around the country and interviewed uh, 100 centenarians mm -hmm. oh. and then found out what the common things were amongst the centenarians you know number one there oh, were <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good one it wasn't on top 10 top top one was that they were kind and nice people oh, yeah yeah do you know what number two was <laughs> they never went to see doctors that was number two <laughs> yeah yeah, they were healthy and they kept away from the doctors. And so that was the number, that was number two. But overall, 
a lot of a lot of the centenarians had a really good attitude about life. They were happy, kind people. That's what they found out. Well, mm -hmm. this well, one. I try to think of, of positive things, you know. Uh huh. I try to keep my mind. Uh, I don't think we should uh, harbor negative things. Yeah. Because I don't think it does you any good. Exactly. Well, I think uh, you fit into that category. I think you will easily make a centenarian. What do you think? Oh, I don't care. Yeah, you, you, you got five more, five more years to go, so I, I think you can easily do that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think about it very much. No. No. Okay. You're a pretty happy, happy, happy-go-lucky kind of person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, but a lot of people don't live up to your age. Okay. You did something right. Uh huh. Exactly. Well, are you on like a blood thinner? Yes. Oh, you are. That's why she's. Oh, that's why you're bleeding a lot, a lot more than usual. So we have to be really careful when they're on a the blood thinner. So maybe the next time when she comes in, we'll take it after we do the procedure. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's just that it was so long, it was digging into the skin, and then right. when we cut it, it had it bleeding. So usually it stops right away, but you didn't because of the blood thinner, which is not a problem. We just it'll stop. So I'm gonna put a little bandaid over that. Okay, so that. Uh, she sickens her also and water. Medication? Okay. So these nails were kept a little long because I didn't want to cut into the skin again because she's on a blood thinner. So we want to cut a little bit more next time I see her in a couple of months so that she won't be bleeding here because she got uh, blood thinner and then we have to be careful, okay? We do it over a couple times. Yeah. <clears throat> it'll be okay though. Yeah, it'll be fine. So I put a little band-aid over that to make sure that keep it nice and clean there. It's gonna stop bleeding. Okay, thank you for allowing us to film you. Thank you very, very much. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Okay, so we'll And you're a very nice looking man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you.